What up, what up, world? Back again with another Pop Dust exclusive. I am your host, Decent, and my guest at this time just released her dope fire. Just like, I'm, I'm running out of words to describe how lit the song is more in the morning. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Angelica Villa. Hey, what's up? Gang, 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 Thank gang, you gang. for having me. Thank you for stopping by. We've been trying to get you up here for a minute, but all great things take time, and here we are rocking yeah. out. From the Bronx. Yep. I'm from the Bronx. Okay. Where in Bronx you from? From the eggs. I'm from Castle Hill. Castle Hill. Well, I'm from around there. Around Castle Hill area. I didn't grow up in Castle Hill or around there. I like I grew up around um Pelham Bay Parkway. Pelham Bay <laughs> Pelham Bay Parkway. I grew up around Fordham. What school did you go to? Lehman. Of course you did. Listen, listen. I mean, I went to a school inside Lehman, but it was like the Lehman campus, so I just say Lehman because it's like that's what. Yeah, because everything got broken down to one. Like yo, there's like six, six schools, schools in, in, that. in yeah. all the public schools now. But enough about us. Enough about the Bronx. About you right now as an entertainer, as a phenomenon, as a dope artist, and your new single "More in the Morning," yes. which is a flip on one of my favorite hip hop records. I don't understand under it on me cause my shoes money is shine. <laughs> on the telephone, she yeah, heard my voice, voice telling me to pick her up in my Rolls Royce. Hey. If my Rolls Royce is not for ladies, then girl, I'm gonna take you with my Mercedes. Hey. If my Mercedes would not fill up with the disease, okay, I know that part. And then girl, I'm gonna take you with my fire bird. <laughs> <laughs> Might have to clear that so um Barrett oh, don't sue us. But I love when people take old songs and recreate it. Recreate it, but not so much as if they're stealing it, but they're just taking it, paying homage to it, and flipping it and making right, it their right. own. Especially since this was a hip hop song, yeah, and you made it an R and B song. Well, it started off with Edith Piaf, so it's a French song. Mm. Yes, mm. and and then Grace Jones sampled it, then Bonnie and Shine sampled it. Was it you got the beat first and then just decided to flip it? The song was already done, but for the first verse and the second verse, we had rewrote that. And for the second verse, that Joe actually did those first four bars. Really? Mm hmm. Shout out to Fat Joe. So, you pretty much came to prominence by doing covers in a sense. Yes. So, what was it like going from doing other people's songs and getting notoriety for that to you pretty much being on a platform where you're showcasing your own voice and your own material? I mean, I've always wanted to be able to showcase my music. I felt like it was more of like the journey and just understanding my sound and just getting comfortable like with how I want to sound in front of that mic. And so like singing other people's songs was like an inspiration because it's like they're in a position that I want to be in one day. That's what's up. That's what's up. So tell us what life was like growing up in the Bronx. You know, I know as somebody who's you know, experience music and experience life and how the two intertwine and it can make you or break you coming from where we come from. But how did your environment and the atmosphere that you grew up in help shape you as an artist and as a person? The atmosphere I grew up in was always family oriented. So I never really surrounded myself with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Growing up in the Bronx kind of made me a little bit gritty and like, you know, aggressive and masculine in a way like I'm girly I'm a girly girl but mm -hmm. personality wise I feel like I'm a little masculine I feel like that comes from like me being in the Bronx and just looking at the surroundings around me and how other people was living and you know yeah the streets yeah watching the streets <laughs> the streets <laughs> yeah <laughs> so yeah. for you to make music that's you know so sultry and so you know sexy in a sense it's kind of a dope dynamic but I don't think a lot of people realize that a lot of women from the Bronx, they do carry that dynamic of, yeah. yeah, we're beautiful, but there might be a box cutter somewhere on me. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you just said it. Uh, like I said, I've, said I've, I've been around, so I know. Like, go to a party, it's like, everything is cool, you know, then you wind but, up having to step in, but your girl really got the blicky on her, so. <laughs> the blicky. I mean, I'm not even a party person. I don't like parties. Like, like growing up. I used to get invited to parties, not really that much because I again I didn't really have friends. But you know, whenever they would try to invite me, oh let's hang out at the school, let's do this this weekend. It's like eh, we can try, but I'm not really into that. I'd rather much I'd much rather be in the studio. Tell us a little bit more about the journey so far because one minute you're singing covers, the next you're sitting across from Fat Joe. He's right. mentoring you, he's coaching you, he's helping you. You're hitting all these stages. You're going all over the world, like. How did it first resonate with you? So I first started doing covers when I was 10 years old on mm. YouTube. And then later on, it, it like years, a couple of years later, um, like when I was probably like 11, 12, that's when I first got in the studio. Mm -hmm. And then um, 
years later, Instagram came out with the 15 second videos. Mm. I'm like, hmm, because remember at first it was just pictures. So they came out with the 15 seconds. I'm like, hmm, I'm going, okay, I'm going to try to post little 15 second covers. Then they came out later on with the one minute videos. I'm like, I'm going to try to grow a platform on here. Because a lot of people are starting to get hooked on Instagram and, you know, starting to leave all the, the basically, Instagram is starting to become the main focus. Exactly. So let me try to grow a platform on here. And then later on, I remember the Wild Thoughts Freestyle. I was 17 at this point. Um, it started going viral, the Wild Thoughts Freestyle. Like, everybody was making their own. That's actually how I first heard of you. For real? <laughs> yeah. Hey! Listen, I, I look back to that video, and I'm like, oh, why did I post that? I mean, you're saying that now because of who you are right now. Because you're never thinking that when you're in the moment. You know, right, you right, go back right. and look and say, oh, what was I on? But I, I don't know what I was on. I'm like, damn, can, why did I say all that? But as you can see, <laughs> it's something that launch you to where you are right now so i know hindsight is 2020 but that's definitely a moment that you should be proud of and embrace i would take that instagram video and probably frame it if i could you know it's true i would definitely because i feel like that video was kind of like a gateway for like where i am right now today because um one of the hottest souls pretty loot like i ended up making my own version and one of the hottest souls pretty loot from new york he ended up um, reposting the video and Joe, he's really close with Joe. He sees it on his page. He's like, "Yo, who's that?" And again, I was at the time I was 17, so I was like, "You know, this is a 17-year-old girl from the Bronx. She's Dominican. She's working on some music. She's actually doing a single to my mixtape that I'm working on right now." That's him telling Joe. Joe's like, "Hmm, okay, okay." And then um, Pretty Lou had invited him to the studio, and that Joe he pulled up with his wife and everything. And the first thing that he said was, "Play me three of your hottest songs. They can't be whack." And then he was giving me a whole lecture, like, you know, first impression matters. I was like, yeah. whew, I felt Lost. the pressure on there. I was like, ooh, I don't think I should play him the three songs that, you know, I wanted to play originally. Mm. Boom, boom, boom. Um, I ended up still playing them for him, and then he told me to sing, and then his wife, he ended up telling me that his wife later on, after they had left, she was like, you gotta sign that girl. I was like, ah. One thing about Joe, like, when he puts his stamp on something, when he believes in something, yeah. he rides for it. You saw how he was with Pun, you saw how he was Remy. with Remy. So now that you kind of have, you know, the touch in the sense, what's that like as not just a musician, but somebody from the Bronx? I mean, I feel like it's an inspiration for other people, but it's also inspiration and motivation for me mm -hmm. because he is an OG. And so it's, I feel like I was blessed with the opportunity for him to drop gems and guide me through like the industry and the music and you know overlook my music and make sure that the stuff that I'm putting out is right and sounded right sonically and just you know mm. business wise business and like everything is happening correctly. I'm pretty sure we're getting a project somewhere down the line. Sooner than you think. That's the best ass I could give you. The the project is already done. We got another music video coming. We got another single coming. The music video is not going to be the same as the single that's coming. So there are two different songs that's coming out. And you know, they might be a little remix to More in the Morning. You just never know. But I want to know though. That's the whole purpose of the interview. Well, you just got to wait for the IG. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to update everybody. Check your Twitter. Check your IG. Check your Facebook. Check your YouTube. Angelica Villa, More in the Morning. The music video is out. Let's get it. Pop dust. <laughs> I mean, do I really have to do a sign-out since she did all that? <laughs> but I'm going to have to do one anyway because that's what you guys are paying me to do. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Angelica Villa. More in the Morning is out right now. I can never get another feel. Hey. Put myself on a walk in the morning. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Mm -hmm. I want more and more and more.